Hey guys, it's Jack here from Ginger Bets, and this week I'm previewing the Worldwide Technologies Championship taking place from El Camilo Mayacoba Golf Club in Mexico. Exclusively for sportspub.com, this review will have a more detailed look at the course, the breakdown of the key skill sets required, and then my best outright selections for this week's event. But before we get there, a bit of housekeeping, if I may. If you're not yet familiar with the sportspub.com website, then please do take a look around because you have the opportunity to access not only my best outright pick, my best outsider, my best top 20 selections, but also day one three balls, weekend two ball action, plus a halfway house report. In addition to that, you'll get a full overview in writing of the key skill sets required each and every week on the PGA Tour, breakdown of the courses, your golf betting needs covered from Thursday through Sunday, week in, week out on the PGA Tour. So please do take a look at the www.sportspub.com webpage. All this information is free of charge, all there under the Golf Betting Insights tab, view free picks. It's all there, free of charge, so don't miss out. Because last week, those of you that were lucky enough to tune in will have had a hugely exciting ride on Sunday, wherein the best outside to consider section Danny Lee went extremely close he was tied second he lost out by just one shot 160 to 1 he was put forward at but there's just so many more ways that you can use this information it can be used for DraftKings lineup fantasy games that you can play throughout the United States plus there's just so many other ginger nuggets that are contained in the Golf Betting Insights weekly package so do take a look because it's all free of charge so let's get into this week's event what will be the key skill sets are going to be required for the player to lift that trophy come Sunday evening. Let's take it from the tee box. First up, it's driving accuracy. The data tells us that driving accuracy is of key importance this week. Second up, I want to look at strokes gain tee to green performance. In low scoring events, I want players that have shown real good tee to green performance over the recent 24 rounds. I don't care what they've done a long time ago. This isn't a major um, I want players that are in form here and now. Next up, the data tells us that green in regulation data is hugely important at the Mayakoba Championship. Players that win this event often finish in the top 10. I think 8 out of the last 10 winners have finished in the top 10. So that tells you how important green in regulation data is. Fourth will be scrambling. So this is strokes gain scrambling. If the wind gets up this week, which it certainly can on these coastal resorts, then players will miss the green. Simple as that. And we need them to get up and down in order for them to not make bogey and stay on the hunt for victory. So we want to look at strokes gain scrambling. Um, I've done that already this week when bringing you my selections. But if you're making your own picks, then I encourage you to look at that. And then last but not least, again, the data tells us that the last five renewals of this event, the player that's lifted the trophy on Sunday night has finished in the top 10 in par 4 scoring. So I don't see it being any different this week. So they're the five key skill sets that I think the player that's victorious will be required to have in abundance this week. Driving accuracy, stroke game tee to green scrambling green in regulation and par for scoring so let's get to it the outright selections for the week well those of you that have tuned into this week's videos already will have seen that my best outright selection in the short video has already been put forward so i won't keep you or tease you any longer with that one that player will be russell henley Russell Henley sits second in tee to green performance over the last 24 rounds on tour, sits in the top 20 in par 4 and par 5 scoring, and he sits in the top 10 in scrambling. So they're the reasons behind the selection, Russell Henley. Here with my headline selection of the week, and he's available at plus 5,500 with FanDuel. That's plus 5,555 to 1. He won't be that price come Thursday, so take advantage of that right now. 
the other three selections then that I have for you this week. First off, this is a player that is at a huge price. He's he was available at 100 to one. Unfortunately, that's been clipped in already to 70 to one. But I still feel 71 to one is fair value. I had him at 66 to one, so I'm prepared to take a chance at 70. He's third in green and regulation data over the past 24 rounds on tour. He's in the top 20 in terms of strokes gained tee to green performance over the last 24 rounds on tour. And in par 4 and par 5 scoring, he also sits in the top 20. So these are key bits of information, key stats that I think are going to be important this week. And this player has them all. He's also got 28 rounds at this event previously. And in those 28 rounds, he's gained on average 1.5 strokes compared to the field. So that tells me that he likes this track. He's not the longest of hitters on tour at all. So I think that this short and sub 7,000 yard layout will suit him. I won't keep you waiting any longer. The second selection of the week at plus 7,000 with Van Duel again will be Kevin Streelman. The third selection of the week will be a man from the shores where I'm at. He's a UK-based player, but he's over on the PGA Tour right now before he makes his Christmas break. He played last week where he finished in 30th place, but he was on the wrong side of the draw. He went out early on day one when conditions were absolutely dreadful and uh, kind of ruled himself out of the tournament. But he fought gallantly to finish in a tie for 30th place. His game is built for this type of test. Uh, sure, he's not the longest off the tee, but he's one of the most accurate drivers of the ball. He's an elite level iron player, and he rolls his rock as good as anybody in the whole of world golf. I think his price is extremely fair, and at plus 3,400 with FanDuel, the third selection of the week will be Matthew Fitzpatrick. I think Fitzpatrick's got an outstanding chance this week of getting his first PGA Tour victory. And the fourth and final selection of the week will be another player seeking his first PGA Tour victory. Let me tell you why he's made my shortlist. 18th on his only event in t uh, or visit to this event in 2019. He's a much more accomplished player now than he was back then, that is for sure. He's got a Ryder Cup performance in the bag where he took down the world number one at the time in John Rahm. He destroyed him in the singles, took him to the cleaners. This guy's still seeking his first PGA Tour victory, but I think that this proves an unbelievably good chance. And when he did visit this track back Back in 2019, compared to the average player, he gained 1.7 strokes per round. So that tells you that he's got a liking for this course. I just think, and this event, it's about low scoring, it's about making birdies, it's about dialing those irons, hitting loads of green, and then the player that puts best will be successful come Sunday night. Scotty Scheffler is a player that I feel can get the job done and pick up his first PGA Tour victory. So the fourth and final selection to round out the portfolio for the week will be Scotty Scheffler at plus 3,000 with Caesars and plus 2,800 with BetMGM. Before I leave you, let me tell you a bit about BetMGM. You have the chance to sign up to a $1,000 risk-free bet. That, Yep, that's right. You lose your first $1,000 bet and they'll refund you as a free bet into your account. So if you're looking at this information, take a look at the sportspub.com website. All the information on how to sign up, use, register and get the full use of this $1,000 risk-free bet is available to you. And while you're there, have a look at the Ginger Bet's free golf betting insights package. Your golf betting needs covered from Thursday through Sunday, week in, week out on the PGA Tour. It got you, gives you your outright picks, your outsiders, your top 20 picks, day one three balls, two ball action at the weekend, everything you need from Thursday through Sunday to look after your golf betting needs. Thank you for listening. Good luck, and I'll be back later in the week with my best top 20 selection. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.